I really didn't want to hang around Seattle this weekend, but it was really kind of a long, hard week at work this week. And I've been doing so much driving anyway that uh, I just really didn't feel like driving anywhere last night when I got off of work. So here I am in Seattle. And at the moment I am downtown Seattle. I figure um, I'm just going to uh, hang out, make the best of my time. I've got some things I need to get done on the van, mostly just cleaning. Uh, but I think that uh, because of my mood and because of how the week has gone, I'm just going to take this weekend and not have any plans at all and just try to relax. So I should be doing laundry, I should be cleaning the van. I should be doing some projects, but I think I'm just going to enjoy the city as much as I can, even though I don't really want to be here. <laughs> I shouldn't really say that because uh, I actually like Seattle. Shining, it's late morning, and uh, the sun is kind of peeking out, but there's lots of clouds. Uh, but it's chilly. As you can see, I've got not only my sweater on, but I've got my uh, waterproof jacket on over top of that. Not because it's rainy today, but um, just because I'm cold and I really don't want to get out my, uh, my down coat yet. It's only early October. Really don't want to crack out the down coat, but I'm thinking about it because I'm cold. I, it rained all day yesterday which is fine because I was working all day, but um, today's a little bit nicer. Uh, the sun is kind of poking out of the clouds, but there are a lot of clouds. And the high today is only supposed to be in the low 50s. Yeah, cold. But let's make the best of the weekend, right? I'm craving donuts. If you're ever hungry, don't go to the Skillet Diner on Union. After waiting for 20 minutes without anybody acknowledging me, I finally took the hint and left. So I ended up having pizza for dinner, and that's never a bad idea. So this is really annoying. These are the third set of wiper blades I've had on this van 
in the last year. Third set in one year. And now the driver's side blade is chattering, which is really annoying because it's been raining for the last three days. So I'm going to replace it, but I've been replacing the blades with the same brand and the same model of blade because I keep going to AutoZone. And AutoZone only sells one blade that will fit the driver's side of my van. That's because this van has these new European style connectors that they're using on a lot of the new cars now. And because of that connector and because of the size of the blade, uh, they, only, they only have the one, they only stock the one. And I keep going back and buying the same one from AutoZone thinking and hoping that it will last longer, but of course they don't. So in an effort to stop the insanity, I decided to not go back to AutoZone this time. I decided to go to Fred Meyer. Now Fred Meyer is a grocery store uh, in the Kroger chain, but they sell all kinds of stuff. They sell auto parts as well. And so because they sold a different type of wiper blade. They sell a Rain-X brand. I've never tried Rain-X uh, wiper blades before, but I'm hoping that this one will last a little bit longer than the Bosch blades that I have been buying. And because it's a big blade, a big long blade with that special connector, those Bosch blades are about 25 bucks. Unfortunately, uh, this blade is about 25 bucks too, so hopefully it'll work a little bit better. I don't know. Time will tell. Now this is the fourth blade I've bought for the van, at least the driver's side, in a year. I think it's actually been less than a year. I'm getting tired of buying wiper blades. Let's hope this one lasts a little bit longer. So right off the bat here, I'm not real happy with the Rain-X blade because, and you probably can't see this because it's dark, but um, they have their own way of attaching this wiper blade to this connector. And it's not nearly as secure as the Bosch uh, blades are. So hopefully it's going to stay on there fine, but um, yeah, not impressed so far. But at least as long as it doesn't chatter, like the Bosch was, uh, I guess I'll be happy. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Is it going to chatter? Is it going to not? Ah, smooth as silk. So that's it. That's my whole weekend. I started off this weekend thinking that I wasn't going to fret about getting anything done. I was just going to try to concentrate on relaxing. But to be honest, I I am a little bit perturbed that I just kind of wasted away two days. Now, I don't mean to say that it was a bad weekend. It uh, wasn't a good weekend either. And while I know it's probably better to have a happy, smiley end to every video. Uh, this is regular life. This is one of those little ideas that I keep trying to get across because I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about those of us that live in a van. You know, you normally see the happy fun times and the great places that we go because yeah, we do have a lot of freedom. And yeah, we've got a little extra money to spend normally uh, to do things that we want to do. But this is still life. We're just living. And life is a little bit unpredictable. We can do our best to try to spend our time wisely. When I had a house, I had a lot less free time. And I didn't have time to think about wasted time. But now that I have more free time, I seem to spend a great deal of my time worrying about wasted time. And again, I'm not saying this is good and I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it is. It just is. <laughs> it just is. We try to use our time as wisely as we can. 
and we try to make good decisions, but life is life, whether you live in a van or not. So maybe next week will be better, maybe it'll be the same. And if you're contemplating on living in a van, I think you got to be okay with that. You got to be okay with taking whatever comes. I'm reminded of this constantly every night because I park in a new location pretty much every night of the week. Because sometimes I'll roll up to my, say, my favorite parking spot and there will be no place to park. All of the spots will be full. And so then I have to just take what comes and move on to another spot. Even though that's my favorite spot and I, maybe I really want to park there tonight, it might not be available when I get there. These are those little things that you learn quite quickly when you live in a van, that everything is unpredictable. And so you learn to roll with the punches. So I don't know why this weekend kind of bugs me a little bit, not really doing much, not really getting anything accomplished. I guess I should be thinking about all the good aspects of the weekend. I slept in today, I really slept in, uh, which is really not that unusual for me to do on a Sunday. And I had quite a lot of good coffee. I had some donuts, that's always a good idea. And I got to drive around and see some new places of the city that I normally don't go. So there you have it. There's good, there's bad, and there's in between. And this weekend was in between, I guess. So what is next weekend going to bring? Who knows? But what I do know is I have to be open and ready for all possibilities. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be in between. That's just life in a van.